The Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Hey, the Environment Commissioner confirmed that after three years, three ministers and three plans, on climate change the Conservatives are not credible on any level. Wow. Their emission reductions have no rationale. Wow. They are not transparent. Emissions are way up. Worse, he says, they are deliberately overstating reductions targets which they know they can't meet. Given these conclusions, why won't the Prime Minister just finally admit that he will not come anywhere close to meeting his reduction target of 49 megatons for our large industries by 2010? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Mr. Speaker, it's, it's a bit rich to hear from that side of the House that we're being judged on a piece of paper that they signed knowing that they fully could not deal with that and adhere to it. They had no plan to implement, they had no plan to execute, they had no ability to fulfill that Kyoto Protocol. What we have done, Mr. Speaker, what we have done is put together a plan that focuses on mitigation the use of the fossil fuels, renewable energy, in which we put approximately $7 billion into since 2007, and focus on fuel efficiency. The Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, the so-called dialogue with the United States is turning to confrontation. The Natural Resources Minister lobbies to block progressive fossil fuel standards out of California instead of helping Canada compete and win in the race to the low-carbon economy. Today, the Environment Minister is busy finger-wagging and lecturing the United States on their own plan because he has none to present. When will the government realize that when it comes to achieving Canada's green energy potential, the United States isn't the bad guy. It's not our greatest threat. Our greatest threat continues to be conservative incompetence. The Honourable Minister of Order. On order of the Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Although that's very pretty words, Mr. Speaker, the reality is that the greatest, the greatest threat. Order. The Honourable Order. 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 The Minister of Natural Resources has the floor. Order. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Contrary to what they like to think on the other side of the House, Mr. Speaker, the reality is the greatest threat to Canada's ability to be clean and green in the future is the fact that for 10 years they did nothing. 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 